Mike Catamole. Thanks, Lydia. Yeah. Deja vu, eh? <laughs> Jack Ruby, the last one to go in here. They're ready to race, and they're off. For the Martin Denton Memorial EBF Maiden Stakes, Mephisto a little bit slow to get going. Uh, settling towards the rear is It's Good to Laugh. Kentucky Hardboot broke well. So too did Unresolved, the white face of Unresolved, taken on by No Show, who moves up on this outside. Settling in behind them there, Kamiko and the Sheepskin Noseband racing just behind their Kentucky Hardboot. They're both uh, fourth and third, respectively. And then it's good to laugh in the blue and yellow quarters. Running a bit green, Jack Ruby on the recovery on the outside there. Rated, weighted with at the back is Mephisto. And last of all is Star of Wells, the favorite, as they approach the entrance to the home straight, which means they're about uh, halfway now here in this maiden. And they're being led down the home straight by the Frankel Colt Unresolved, who leads by about a length now from No Show, who's poised to strike on the outside. Kentucky Hardboot on the rail. Shaken up now is Kamiko. Pushed along too, it's good to laugh. Switch to the outside now is Star of Wells, who tries to pick up with Jack Ruby at the back. Mephisto is a little bit outpaced. They're coming inside the final furlong and a half now here. And No Show has struck the front with a decent turn of foot. No Show being chased down now by Kamiko, though. And Kamiko draws alongside, running on behind them. It's good to laugh. Kamiko is in front here, leads by about a length, and he's drawing clear inside the closing stages. Closing down is it's good to laugh on the outside, but Kamiko holds on. Another one for Oshin Murphy. It's good to laugh was in second, and then back in third was no show. Sheen Murphy wins here at Sandan in the first race. He had a double here last night, and now he's in the wisdom enclosure for Andrew Borden with Kamiko at 15 to 2. This newcomer, a son of Kitten's Joy, has won this rather the last for the feature. Let's get up to Simon Holt. Positive. The odds on market leader making up the line for the group three betway solario stakes and away they go and ashazi is dropped in in the early stages in the shake hand and colors full verse is ridden forward hector loza quite freely on his heels kamiko wider in the noseband then positive in the red white sleeves al sahail and ashazi at the back of the field so full verse is in to make the pace here he's two lengths clear of hector loza in second kamiko in third positive Positive in fourth place is Shazi in fifth and finally Al Sahal and it's certainly a truly run contest as they swing right-handed. Full verse has got them strung out. He's gone four, five lengths clear of Hector Loza. Kamiko in third place, another three lengths back to the favorite positive on the outside of Ashazi and Al Sahal in the all blue jacket. Into the home straight about to pass the three furlong marker. Full verse still at f a full clip here by four lengths to Hector Loza. Kamiko just ridden along now in third. Positive making ground. Eshazi on the far running rail. And then Al Sahal still at the back of the field inside the two. Hector Loza closing on full verse. Here's positive now with a thundering run down the outside. And the favorite takes it up. Out wide. Al Sahal now dashing through. And it's positive. But here comes Al Sahal. Kamiko has rallied well inside the final furlong. Positive. Kamiko running on very strongly far side to maybe edge it positive fighting back positive and Kamiko is close at the finish positive and Kamiko probably in a photo possibly in that order Al Sahail third and a big gap to Hector Loza in fourth Well, it will be to the judge again, Emily Jones here at uh, Sandown Park. But on that, it looks like positive. It's commentary box, but maybe yesterday was worse. They're just about lined up. And they're away. Pretty level break. Highland Chief just dropped in in the early stage. Maybe a bit slow into stride in the early stages of this Judmont Royal Lodge stakes. The sound of cannons and Frankie de Tori from Royal Dorna. Kamiko in the noseband in third, followed by Pile Driver, Year of the Tiger. Highland Chief now demotes Iberia to last place. And they're quite well strung out in the early stages here and racing down the centre of the heath. And it's Sound of Cannons that leads the way by a length to Royal Dorna. Kamiko is a little bit keen now, moving up to join Royal Dornock to dispute second place. Pile drivers on the far side. Year of the Tiger moves a little closer too with Highland Chief and two lengths last to Iberia. Heading on towards the 
halfway stage. They're just about passing the four furlong marker now. Sound of Cannons joined by Cameco Strains the Reins, Royal Dornock. Then Pile Driver pushed along, followed by Year of the Tiger. Highland Chief continues to get a little bit closer and two lengths last at Iberia. Quite a few of these at their mounts and they've still got a fair way to go, only now just passing the bushes. And Cameco comes through to challenge Royal Dornock. Then in the centre, Sound of Cannons is now fading away from Year of the Tiger. Cameco on the far side, Royal Dornock on the near side. They're chased by Year of the Tiger. Running on from the back is Iberia. Cameco's going to have to dig in up the hill. Leads by half a length to Royal Dornock. And then Iberia. Cameco, Royal Dornock is coming back on the near side. Head and head, close to the finish. Royal Dornock getting up. Royal Dornock has beaten Cameco. Iberia, third year of the Tiger in fourth. Royal Dornock wins the Judmont Royal Lodge for Aidan O'Brien. Wayne Lorden in the saddle, 16 to 1. Another notable success on the Rowley Mile this year for Wayne Lorden. Royal Dornock, who was never too far away, gets up to defeat. The boat in to complete the line. They're ready. And they're off. The first ever Group 1 to be staged on the all weather in the UK. It's the Verton Futurity Trophy over one mile. And it's Royal County down under Andrea Atzeni, who is the first one to show. Establishing a length and a half lead early on from the blue cap of New World Tapestry. With that one is Tamani. Geometrical is in behind horses with Cameco. Next is Innis Free with the purple cap. Followed then by Mogul in the green jacket. Kin Roster, that one's outside Verboten. Further back through them to find Year of the Tiger. And the outsider of the field, King of the Throne, is the bat markers. Royal County down sets the fractions in front a length and a half to Newell Tapestry in second, about three lengths away. That's Tamani back in third. Then came Cameco and Geometrical toward the outside. Innis Free is next. Then came Kin Ross and Verboten in that royal blue jacket. Closely attended to there by Mogul. Then came Year of the Tiger. And at the back still is King of the Throne. As they now begin to head down towards the final three furlongs and inside that mark. Royal County down. Now ridden in front. About to be joined by Tamani. Cameco toward the right hand side. Picking up now Innis Free. Here comes Kin Ross as well. Looking for its way through. Verboten now ridden for more as they go to Towards the final furlong and a half, it's Cameco who's out in front now. Cameco leading from Innis Free in second, then the year of the Tiger and Mogul, followed then by Kin Rossi's under pressure. Inside the final furlong, it's Cameco under Asheen Murphy by about two to three lengths now inside the final half. It's Cameco clear from Mogul, year of the Tiger and Innis Free and up to the line. It's Cameco to win the Verton Futurity Trophy. Pretty tight second, Innis Free together with Mogul and year of the Tiger. Then came King Ross. Further back to King of the... To the gates. Goes in. All in. Ready. They're off. Kipco, 2,000 guineas. They get underway. Kenzai Warrior breaks awkwardly and is the last one away. Juan Alcano with Persuasion, Starcat and Wichita are the leaders early on. Royal Dornock and Kenzai Warrior towards the back of the field. Kamiko and Kinross are giving chase to the leaders and Pina Tubos with those. Military March with the distinguishing white cap is out deep on the course. Cepheus is next as they head down towards the completion of three furlongs, a red cap for Al Suhail is next and then Mums Tipple from New World Tapestry and Royal Dornock come behind those is Kenzai Warrior at the back of the field. Very pale jacket though, Persuasion, the yellow colours of Juan Elcano, Wichita is right with those and then comes Star Cat towards the left with a white face. Pina Tubo and Arizona together, five and six at the moment, military march behind those. Then comes Kamiko, less than three furlongs to go. Kinross comes next. Pina Tubo begins his move now towards the leaders as they head down to the two marker. When Alcano in yellow against the running well, backing on well. Wichita between those is Pina Tubo. Kamiko coming down the centre of the course. Military march is in behind that. They head down into the dip now. Pina Tubo trying to see off Wichita. Kamiko behind those and then military march as they head into the closing stages and it's Wichita at the moment in the Purple cap, Kamiko the far side of him going through to lead late on. Kamiko's won the Wichita second beat of Tubo. Military march behind those, then well Alcano, Kinross, and then came Mums Tipple.
Trainer Andrew Balding described this horse as the best weave to remember for owner Bjorn Nielsen. He's down to the inside under Frankie Dottori, the yellow cap. The 2020 Investec Derby, 16 of them lined up. In the 2020 Investec Derby, English King going a bit left, leaving the starting stalls. Emissary was a bit slow to stride. On the sharp end early on is Serpentine in the grey jacket with Khalifa Sat. Highland Chief is up there and pulling pretty hard. Cameco is right there as well, racing quite freely too. Gold Maze is close to the pace. In the red jacket, Max Vega. In the purple, Oron Navian. And they're followed further back in the field then by Worthily and also in the dark blue by Vatican City and Russian Emperor Mogul in the blue and orange jacket towards the inside, followed up the inside by English King. Pile Driver might have got a little bit of a knock and then Worthily's right out the back of the field as leading the way is one of the Aidan O'Brien runners, Serpentine. Serpentine leads from Khalifa sat in second place. In third, Oran Navian round the inside of Max Vega. Kamiko is back in fifth. Then in sixth is Mogul, followed round the inside by English King, out wider Gold Maze. They're followed back by Vatican City with the White Blaze. Then Russian Emperor on the inside. Uh, taken back in the field was Highland Chief, who was prominent early on. As Serpentine now establishes quite a big lead as they begin the run downhill towards the rear. Still worthily, Mythical is last in a pink jacket. Pile Driver is well back, and so is the slow starter Emissary and Mohican Heights. So they're well strung out as they begin the long run down the hill towards Tattenham Corner and. And out in front and out clear is Serpentine, chased by Khalifa, sat in second place. Oron Navian is back in third. Then uh, behind these is Max Vega. Kamiko is about fifth on the outside of Mogul, but well off the leader. Then Gold Mazer's Serpentine in splendid isolation is going to turn round Tattenham Corner with a 12 length lead in the derby. Chased by Khalifa, sat in second. Oron Navian, is this leader going to come back? Kamiko, Gold Maze, and then Max Vega and Mogul. Two and a half furlongs left to cover. Emmett McNamara gets to work on Serpentine now. He's still got eight or ten lengths over Khalifa Sat. Oran Navian down the outside. Kamiko is trying to stay on behind these. A furlong and a half left for the lead at the last home. Serpentine still by eight to ten lengths over Khalifa Sat. Oran Navian, Mogul and Kamiko and Serpentine is not stopping. He's made it all. He's out clear all the way. in six or seven length still and Serpentine for a remarkable win in the Investec Derby. Khalifa Sat may be second. Oran Navian and English King running on. Third and fourth probably. Kamiko down the outside and then Mogul. Just the most extraordinary derby and Serpent Lining up for the Shadwell Joel Stakes Group 2 and they're off and they came out in a straight line regal reality just a little slower into stride ben battles smartly away in the all blue top rank on the far side followed by tilsit alongside kamiko regal reality and zabiel prince is the back marker through the first furlong so last year's winner ben battle taking them along here in the hands of Frankie Dottori, followed by top rank on the far side, the grey, PJ McDonald, Tilsit, close up, Kamiko, the Guineas winner, then Regal Reality and Zabiel Prince at the back of the field. The pace looks to be steadily lifting, and it's Ben Battle very much held together in front from top rank, Tilsit, Kamiko, then uh, Regal Reality and Zabiel Prince, as now they race past the half mile marker and therefore past the halfway stage in this group two prize. Ben Battle, Ashi Murphy pushing Kamiko along in fourth place. It's Ben Battle from top rank, Tilsit third, Kamiko. Regal Reality is under the pump as well, and then Zabiel Prince as they race on now towards the final two and a half furlongs in this Shadwell Joel Stakes. Ben Battle out in front, but top rank challenging hard. Kamiko picking up now in the claret colors coming through, followed by Tilsit, and then back to Regal Reality, and Kamiko has come through to head Ben Battle running into the dip. It's Kamiko from back Ben Battle as now they race uphill inside the final furlong. Kamiko just in front, Ben Battle. Regal Reality is finishing well. Kamiko needs the line. Regal Reality is thrusting. Kamiko returns to the scene of his great win in the Guineas and wins again from Regal Reality with Ben Battle back in third. Well, there was a point where it looked unlikely. Then there was a point where you thought it was going to go away and win it comfortably. But one it he has, Kamiko 
for Sheen Murphy and Andrew Boarding at 85 to 40 has been...